Hello everyone, this is Cars Jaden here, and today we're going to be reviewing, or doing a custom spotlight, on Trackmaster Duck and Whiff. So, let's get on the show and get off with Whiff. I kind of think Whiff's more of a touching story to point out, because before I made him more like what you see here, he was a total mess. His his stickers, his details, his decals on the sides and the top, and most and not much in the back, were completely ruined. They were like scrunched up, so I had to like update them more. You see, with some of them, I used Sharpie on some, as well as paint, I think. So basically, I also did some touching on the whistles and those two dots there. I don't know what they're called, but they may be valves or some sorts. Or whistles. These might be the valves here. And way here, I didn't, I just basically put some writing on it. I used a little paint on the sides for all the things that were residued on there. Or residued off, basically. I painted a little bit of red on there as well. I tried to make the running board as detailed as possible. But you can see from some inches, I, it was more pink of a red than white and I still even I still don't know if this is accurate to the t TV show with but if it is I'm gonna be happy for that but if it's not I'm not gonna be any disappointed because I really like it like this the way I did it rainbow doesn't look that interesting as you can see on this side I use like a golden sharpie pen for some of it not down here on this area you can tell some of the areas I used the golden sharpie on and I tried to do the same on here, but then it just got really ruined. So I decided to use the yellow mark, use the yellow paint on this side. It's kind of uneven, but what would you expect for a garbage dish? In my, in my opinion, actually, it kind of looks perfect like this. I didn't really put much on the back except for the that little residue of green down there, right there. And as for here, I just made them yellow. The red were kind of ruined, that yellow on the bottom, but still. And it did the same here, but now it's not ruined. I had windows to make sure it would look somewhat accurate, but still, it kind of looks interesting to have a Trackmaster. This whiff was had a terrible history with Trackmaster Revolution. Once I played with him outside, and his engine motor's kind of off. So if I put this guy in the collab, you can tell that he's screeching a little bit, but you won't notice or hear because I mostly have all the clips I have shut down or I don't have any sound on there so you wouldn't even tell but you can tell from some of the screech from how much it stops a little bit that it has trouble but I'm not going to sh show you what I'm talking about I'm not going to really do that right today you know what screw it I might as well show you what I'm talking about hear that that thing there that that's that's what happened after I played with this whiff outside. So many of my engines got destroyed outside. That's why I'm never using trains outside or play or make videos outside anymore. Or play with them outside anymore. Anyways, on to Duck. Now, I didn't do much with him. I didn't really finish the running board on here, as you can see. And I don't intend to. And I'm not planning to do that. Just do that here. Cause that's too much work in it, and, and just to make this alone was too much work, as well as this one. So, all I did was make the front of the running board white so it could look a little more accurate, because I never really get to see, let's, let's admit, we never really see much of the sides of this running board, or if we have it, it would just be for like, wouldn't it really be that interesting to see a, ac that accurate of a duck? So anyways, here's something I tried to make, you tell me in the comments if it looks terrible or not. But basically what I tried to do was make a whistle out of this, as well as the windows. You could say it went uh, somewhat interesting. The, f the whistle I made is basically dissolved. You could say that that line down there could be the whistle. See, now I'm noticing that the paint must had residue down there more. I must explain where the whistle paint must have went. But anyways, this is basically what I got from the painting I try to do. It's not the best result, I may admit. I may 
start out just like trying to fix it more or whistle and I may try to do the running board much better as well as that thing down there right there on both sides and just for you to know his engine is a runner as well he's a good runner in fact I ordered him a few months ago didn't get anyone else I just decided you know what duck would be a good choice anyway here's the engine motor here's what I'm on I didn't really do much with him I'll leave the running I'll leave the the these things on for now as well as, as good as they are and I'm not really intending to fix these because you know how many times I tried to fix things like these like these boards things not boards like things that these stick things these gray metal things they always tend to like mess up every other time so that's why I'm gonna keep duck the way he is I mean if you want an example take a look at Percy he's like he had a terrible history of me trying to make his running board his boards properly accurate but that's all you should know from this experience that I did hopefully you can learn to not make the mistakes that I did when making this duck accurate as possible yeah speaking of which I I think we had enough of this fun and action. Also, hopefully you'll enjoy my next two videos. Well, next three possibly. I'm kind of debating on doing two videos at once. But who am I to suggest? I only have like six engines to review, so I may split them into three videos because these these last three. These last six are going to be interesting to review and interesting for you to watch. So, hopefully you'll enjoy these videos. So yeah, that's it for my customs with Finn Duck. I basically like made them more accurate or inaccurate for Whiff's case. And a little incomplete accuracy with Duck. You can say that still, but still. Things could never be this, the exactly right, but still. That's enough for this video. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next Custom Spotlight, which will be on the Twin Engine. And I haven't seen any of your guesses on which engines they are in the, in the comments, so please just answer your guesses in the comments below, so I can so I can like either correct correct you or prove you wrong or get guess you all correct. Basically, who knows. Uh, let's just say these two are an amazement I try to do. It's not a big incitement. In fact, I don't even think they're worthy of having a custom spotlight. But still, I think they deserve one. But yeah, this is Cars Jaden. Didn't really have much for this custom spotlight. Although, this could be an interesting tactic to go on. Anyways, but until then, this is Cars Jaden. Saying to you all, Cars 3... I mean, Cars 4 will be out, and, well, the first part should be coming out, like, in, somewhere in July, some, maybe not the 20th, maybe, like, the, towards the end of the month, possibly, but until then, this is Cars Jane saying peace to all you subscribers out there, hopefully my last two should be coming back after this. I think this Cars 4 movie may bring me more subscribers than I've ever gotten because, you know, my Cars fans kind of are getting old of this channel. That's my that's, that's my fury on this because I haven't been making that many Cars videos recently. I mean, I have, but not, not really. But still, hopefully all my subscribers come back after this Cars 4 movie and maybe more should be coming in the future. But until then, this is, this is going to be a long run out video so I'm just gonna end it right here goodbye everybody